All right, everybody, so I'm gonna go ahead and make uh, the decisions for round three. As we take a look, we see here Abel is poised to land in just the right spot. Um, it's actually gonna pass through the spot this round. And so what we've, what we've done here, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, I did the review over the round. This is, the, this is everybody's parts. So we have a couple parts that just came out this round. Those are gonna be high tech ones, obviously. Let's take a look at Cake. Crunch, Champ, and Crazy. These say they're all high-tech products. 7.9, 12.3. Let's see where that lands on the on the product list. 7.9, 12.3. All right, so that's right in the middle of the third round of the the center of the high-tech. I'm guessing they're going to let that one age. I don't see them changing that one. Uh, let's see how old it is. 7.9, 12.3. So it was last updated in April, uh, which means they did make a change to it this last time. I could go back in history and see what it changed from down to. Uh, I would imagine they're going to try to get that one ready for low. But look at this, 7.1, 12.9. This one's going to be a low-tech product. They are poising crazy to be a low-tech product. So it's important to take a look at that. They're at 7.1, 7.1, and 12.9. So they have that set for July of 2022, which would be next round, not this round, but next round, to be in the middle. And that would also put it at three years. And I'm not sure how much of a good move that was. Um, I know that's a, that's one of my, that's one of the plays out of my playbook, but they, they put it at 39 bucks. I assume that was to, to take as much of that high tech market as they could. And, and Hey, they sold it. So good on them. Um, they're going to let it age in the middle of the, the run, which is interesting. Uh, but that's definitely out of my playbook. So let's see here for Abel, we can bump that up. Let's look at the low tech. Low tech, 17,000. You know, better yet, let's look down here. Here we go. So cake was at the top with 21,000 MTBS. We know that the low tech market, the highest they want is 20,000. So we really don't want to do 20,000. 21,000 is too high. At 19,900 that I've got there on the side, that puts us right at the top of the reliability. There's no need in spending more than that uh, and creating higher than that. So I'm going to leave it at the 19.9. It puts us pretty close to the top. It only costs us $40,000, which is nothing. It's not going to change the revision date except for one month, which is no big deal. It's going to age over this round. And so we're, other than that, we're going to leave Able alone. Uh, as for Amoeba, Amoeba's at 9.4, 10.6. Let's see how Amoeba did down here. Amoeba was at the top, top of the market, number one. So we're going to change the price on this one too because people are coming up. Uh, we put it at 19,000 MTBS, but look at these other numbers. Fast is at 22, Crunch is at 23, Feast is at 22, Baboom is, is at 20, Delta is at 20. So we got a lot of people at 20. So in order to stay competitive, and we do need to make a change this round, we're going to bump it up to 20. You know, let's go ahead and make it 2,100 just to outbeat them. Let's go ahead and calculate that. That changes real quick. It takes us two weeks in a little bit. But the main thing is we're going to look for that leading edge. It's already, it was on the leading edge last time. So let's look for the leading edge this time. So at the end of this round, we'll be here. The leading edge is going to be 10.2, 9.8 on December 31st. 10.2, 9.8. Oh, did I do that backward? Because I can see a noise at 9.8, 10.2 coming out. Nine point eight. Oh, you know why? That's because we had. Let's leave that highlighted. 9.8, 10.2 is here in May, and it's coming out in May. That's why. So at the end of this round, 10.2, 9.8 is going to be the best, or 10.3, 9.7. So he says, it says right here, August of 21, that's this year. So we can have this done in August. So that'd be 10.0, 10.0. So let's go ahead and make an adjustment, 10.0, 10.0. It says June. 
and be ready in June. This is a high-tech product. You want it right on the leading edge at the moment that it's going to be on the leading edge. So 9.9, 10.2. Basically the same as Annoy. That puts it in May. So let's bump this up. Oh, look at that. Annoy is at 22,000. It's going to really kick butt. It's going to beat all these others except for Crunch to shame. Put them to shame. 23,000 is the highest. So let's go ahead and bump this up. 21. Let's see what that does on the dates. All right, 9.9, 10.2 still puts us in May. That's going to have us perfect for June. And because I don't want it to uh, really compete with Annoy, I'm actually going to give it a little bit more time. I know it's going to cut the date in half. As close to zero as possible is the best possible. So what we're going to try for is we're going to try for, we're going to go for this 10.2, 9.8. So that's going to put us in August. That gives us three months of sales right there. I wish I could bump that later to make it in December, but that's going to be really hard to do. And it's really not going to be advantageous to, to bump it up into the fifth round and have it aging while it picks up. I mean, even at this point, 10.2, 9.8, it's going to age four months to its perfect spot. And by the time it ages four months, it's going to be one year old almost a year old. So it's it's still going to be in good shape. Look at the age on these ones. 0 0.83 sets ours. Feast is going to get older. Baboom's going to get older. Um, hope If they're smart, they're going to change. They're going to make changes this round. Now let's take a look at crunch. There's 1.2 years. So theirs is going to be older than a year by the end of this year anyway. Um, based on what they did last time, they'll make a change in April, which would put them... Let's see, at 1.2 in April, but about 1.6, 8.8. So yeah, they're going to be about 1.45. They're going to be about here next round, a year and um, year 0.45. So we should be able to, we'll beat them out as far as years age on this one goes. <clears throat> Contemplating putting out another another high tech product, it would come out the year following. It would be the top. That would be round five. And that'd leave us one more to put around in round six or round seven. So I think we should do it. The hoot. Let's see. Annoy. <clears throat> A big boy. A big one. The itty, itty bitty. <laughs> I hate how they, they uh, cut down on the, the amount that you can put in there. So we could do Angel. Uh, that's probably been done before. Alpha, of course, has been done before. Let me think about it for a second. I think I'm going to do... I wish I could do Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Abe Lincoln. Abe Lincoln. <laughs> That's great. All right. So now let's take a look. Let's see where it's going to land. It probably lands sometime around here next year. So 10.5, 9.5. And 9.5. We want to have it about 21,500. It's going to be my guess. March of next year. So what do we put it at? 10.595? So it says we can do it 10.4 or 9.6. 10.4.9.6. So it puts us in March. 10.4.9.6. That put us on the leading edge. Uh, that'll be perfect at the time. And what's going to end up happening is we probably, when Amoeba gets to the point where the youngest we can make it is a year or above, then we might bounce that one down to a low tech. Matter of fact, after the end of this round, uh, 
probably should bounce it to low tech now, but we're going to leave it up there. Probably leave it up there one more round. Next round, we're going to let it stay in the high tech, then probably round seven or so, round six, we might bounce it down to low tech. Let's see, what is, uh, I can see that the cake, you know, they're, they're having their cake and eating it too. Um, we could, if we wanted to be nasty, we could put in another low tech right now and just have all of our products out there and say, you know what, forget it. We're going to compete full bore, but I kind of want to have room for one high tech product to come out in round six. So they were going to leave it alone. We're already spending a lot of cost on R and D as it is. So let's leave that. We're going to be competing against ourselves, obviously. So that's important to remember. Let's go into our marketing. This is going to come out brand new on the leading edge. So we're going to put that at 45 bucks. Right on the leading edge, it's okay to have it there. As a matter of fact, let's do this. Let's do 44.50, just like the other one. And this one, we're going to bounce down to 42.99, taking a buck and a half off. Uh, Able, we can actually do that for cheaper now. So let's do it 32.49. We're going to bump it down 50 cents or so, <coughs> or $1.50. Look at this. See, they, they predict we're going to do 2,400. Let's see what changes when you change that a buck. Now, if we go down to 32, they think we're going to get 100 more sales. Well, 100 more sales, that's not going to change as much. So look at 32 million, change this up to 33, to 33 million. So we make a million bucks by going up an extra buck. What's interesting to me is they they project 2.4 or yeah 2.4 million products or 2,400 products sold. That's insane. It really is insane. So let's bump that down to 32. We're gonna give it a run for its money. You remember last time we hit the we were pushing for the benchmarks that they were telling us, and it just didn't happen. So I'm not going to be overly optimistic on their numbers. Let's take a look at our sales budget. Remember, we're at 100%. Let's take a look at the numbers. Accessibility. So Amoeba is at 79% accessibility. Customer awareness is at 90%. It was at 100%, I believe, at the end of this last one. Oh, that's high-tech market, so excuse me. Here it is. High-tech market, we're at 87%. And 63%. No, we're able. So we're at 100%. Excuse me. 100% and 70%. So at 100%, promo budget says that each year you lose one third. So we're going to lose 33%. In order to gain the second million, it says, adds another 23%. Subject to diminishing returns. 22% adds 23%. So the second million adds 23%. We don't need 46%. We only need 33% to offset what it's doing. So 15, 1.5 million <coughs> is just about right. Um, yeah, 22. So we need to Replacing the loss would cost one. There it is, right there. It tells me 1.4 million is going to replace that cost. So I don't need to spend 1.5. I need to spend 1.4. That's going to save me money. Sales budget. Same thing down here. Um, sales budget says one third will be lost. Um, last time we had 70%. For example, suppose you had 60% accessibility in a segment last year. One third will be lost, leaving 40%. If you offer two products in the same segment, you have combined sales, uh, you would end the year with 62%. Uh, combined 3 million would attain 72%, 4.5 would attain 75%. So we need to have the number in there again, fairly high. Uh, if we go high again this year at the 3 million, because we're losing a third, that's 21%. Yeah, 
20, 21% we're going to lose, 22%, so we need to gain that up. It is 20, 2 million adds 22%, 3 million adds 32 so we can go up to 80% 80, 80 this next round. We didn't go 90% if we had 4.5 million, I'm not going to do that. So we'll leave it at 3 million. Uh, that was for Able. How about for Amoeba? Amoeba is at 70%, 90%. Down the high tech, 90%, 80% essentially. So this one, once again, we are at 90%. Um, we're going to lose 30 of that. It's going to bounce us down to 70. And 70, we don't need 43. We need 30. So here, we can also bump that down, make that 1.6. That should get us up to 100%. We need to have the sales budget high again. Also about 3 million. So we're going to keep that. Uh, we're at 79% right now. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, maybe lower that down 100 bucks, 100,000. 100, a noise coming out, so everybody needs to know. Everybody needs to know what's there. Um, we need to have good money there. We're gonna have a combined. It's gonna combine, so we're gonna put some. We're gonna put some money into this one too. We don't need to combine both. There we go. Let's see what it says. See down here at the bottom it says you offer two products in the segment. Your combined is the two million. Say one million each, you'd end with 62%. So I'm already pretty high. I don't need to do four million. I can do I'll do two million on that one and one on this one. I'll do how about this? 1.2. <coughs> Promo budget, let's see if it does it do the same thing. Okay, it doesn't say. So we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it there. Um, we can bounce this down. 12, 12.2. So we're we're spinning, you know, 2.7 million in there. It's gonna be enough. So they're saying we should be able to sell 842. Well, last time they said we could sell 700. We only had sold 500. So let's take a look at that. We sold 512 last time. 20% increase is 100 more. So we should be able to sell 600. We're going to have Annoy in there this time, which is brand new. It would sell 500 based on this chart. But look how many products there are. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 of them. Some of them are low tech. 12 products in the high tech market. This is when you do our math. So we have 3,732 times 1.2 to get 20%. That's how many you're going to sell. That's how many products will sell. How many did I say were there? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 4,400 divided by 12. 373 on average each one. So I should be able to sell at least that. But I'm already saying that I'm going to sell 600 with Amoeba. <coughs> on the low tech market. On the low tech market, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Some of these are high tech market ones, so it's not going to be the same. We've got uh, 6708 times 1.1, so we're going to be 7300 this time. And fair enough to say, let's go up here. 1, 2, 3, I'm calling crazy a number four because of where it's sitting. Five, delta is almost there is the same, so we'll call that six, seven, eight. So that means everyone should sell an average of 8,000. Here's where market share is important to, uh, to take note. We have, in the low tech, Andrews. Andrew says 23% market share. 
So we should be able to sell 1700 That's how many we should sell based on market share alone. We're going to sell some of the high tech. We'll go and sell in there. <clears throat> Not so worried about giving that, that credence. Uh, down here it says that our market share is 14%. Well, if we have 14% plus we're adding a second market, a second product, look at this. Big Ben has got 13% and 7, which means they got 20%. 7% and they got another one, so 24%. How about uh, Chester? They've got 11. So they got 16% is what it says. They gave them credit for more than that, but it says they got 16%. So if they can have 16%, the other one can have 20 based on two products, and we only had one product in there, I think we may be able to come up to maybe 16, 17%. So let's take a look what that, what that entails. If there are, here we go, 3732 times 1.2 times if we get, let's say we get 17% market share. I give us 761 total. <coughs> it means I don't want to try to sell 900. Uh, I think Annoy is going to do pretty well, so let's call that 300. And we're going to leave that one at 600. I think I think we could hit 600. But I think their benchmarks are out of whack. Uh, let's go ahead and head over to our production team. Okay, so obviously Annoy, we think we're going to do 300. We've got capacity to do it, I believe. Oops. Uh, we already have 300 inventory on hand, so we don't need to do another 790. We do 300. We already got 121 on hand. I think I'm going to sell 1700. So we can do 1650. See how I'm being a lot more conservative this round than last round? Okay. So after production, they say we're going to have 1645 plus 121 puts us at 1760. Yeah, we can probably sell 1760. Uh, amoebas at that. We, so it'd be uh, 601. That's perfect. Annoy, uh, 299. So let's go ahead and bump that up to 306. Now remember, I bumped up our capacity to keep our labor cost down. Look at this. Look at this labor cost. Five bucks. See what happened last time? Let's go up here. Labor cost last time, $7.34. <clears throat> By increasing that automation, we knocked it down $2 per. So we're at 47% uh, for contribution margin. Annoy is at 29%. We're not even going into our second shift on Amoeba. See, we've got plenty of, of capacity, and we're not using it, which is sad. And that's only because we had so much inventory left over last time. How much did we sell last time? 500 and change? 535? We probably could. We'll sell more. But let's say if we sell 20% more, that's 100. So that puts us at 635. So you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's produce 635. Let's make it 650 to make it even. That's just assuming you sell, say there's 650. That's assuming that we only sell 20% more, which is, you know, the increase, exact same. So I, I think that's I think that's fair. 10% um, more for the low. We sold 16.24 last time, so 10% more than that would be another 160, which would put us at 17.80. Right now we've got 16.45 plus the 121 that puts us at 17.60. So we can do 20 more, and we'll make changes on our forecast to equal what we're making. All right, so the real tough one, if we look at Baboom, they put out a new product at 20,000 MTBFs. Ours is going to be on the leading edge, not this, this humdrum one. The price is lower. Uh, all the accessibility and everything is, is much better. So we should be able to beat them out as far as 250. We should be able to do the 300. I'm guessing we're probably going to sell out of each one of these. Um, I'm tempted to put in here 350. Let's see, we're already into the second shift with these guys. 
Let's go ahead and put this at 370 to make up for this one. Because it will also be adjusted onto the leading edge. So you know it actually is going to do pretty well. Maybe it will give it a little bit more. We might have a little inventory left over, but it's not going to be huge like last time. All right, so as far as our costs, we're still not still not there on that second shift. So this is what we want to take a look at. It only costs us 28 bucks to do this. All right, so the reason why I'm bumping this one up on Amoeba is because I want to get the second shift. I want to get it closer there. Uh, it's $28 is what we spent, or what we're spending now for our unit cost. Last time we spent $29, $30, dollars and change per unit. So we're down $2 and change. Let's go over here to our marketing. I know we lowered the cost to $42.99. What is else everybody else charging for their high-tech product? See, we're going to sell out on this one. They're at 44. Where well, everybody's at 44, except for one, and that's because their numbers aren't right for 39. They're they're not as Delta's not up there in the high-tech market really. Um, they're just in the middle ground. So if everybody else is at 44. So bump, bumping it down to 42.99, we probably actually will sell more. So let's bump this up to. Man, I'm really tempted not to do this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put 750 because with our price point and how much we're budgeting for advertising, we really are gonna kick butt um, or should. We're selling this for much less. That 1700 really just isn't enough. Man, I want to put 1900. So don't kill me, team. But I'm putting 1,900. I think we can actually sell that many. Let's go ahead and take a look at our production. 1,900 minus the 121. That's 18, 17, 80. Seventeen eighty is what we need <coughs> to hit that 1,900. So 1,896. There we go. So that puts us at uh, 1906. And we put 750 is how much we're going to sell. We've already got 302 in the bank in, in our inventory, so we need 450 more. All right, 450 more, that's good enough. This one, say 300 we're going to sell. Guess I didn't change that, so we're gonna do 300. I'm gonna put 315. Okay, our recruiting spend we don't need to do any more than that. 115 productivity, turnover rate 6.5. Let's take a look at the performa, the balance scorecard. We might have to change some things when we look at our at our budget. Or we haven't borrowed anything yet, so we're gonna do that in a second. Uh, contribution margin is perfect. Plant utilization is perfect. Days working capital, <clears throat> we got an emergency loan last time, so that's not so good. So we're going to have to adjust that. Stock out costs, yeah, we're good. Okay. So we're at 79 out of 100, but here's the difference. We haven't done any of these TQMs yet. We're going to be doing those in just a second. Other than that, look at that. Perfect turnover, perfect productivity. Product count is the only thing that's off. We almost have a perfect score once I add the TQM. So let's go ahead and put that in now. See what kind of difference that's going to make. We're going to put 750 each. Like I said, I haven't looked at finance yet. Okay, this is really going to change things up. So we're putting 7.5 million into it. Worst case scenario, we're getting these reduction costs. Everybody else is going to do the same exact thing. Let's see how screwed we are on finance. Dude, we still got 15 million at the end of the year, and we're going to borrow another 14 million. <laughs> this is actually really good. This is really good that we're we're up 28 million. That's you know why? That's because we have so much inventory on hand that uh, we don't have to create as much this time. That's absolutely incredible. We're going to be paying off 6.5 million. 
TQM is awesome. We actually could buy some stock, pay, retire some stock. Let's do that. Three. We can do it all. We, we can borrow enough to pay for that. This is this is a round where really we're oh we don't want to issue stock that was dumb. This is a this is a round where we're really gonna make some waves I think. And with 25 million still in the bank, it's almost like did I make the decisions right? What's going on? And really, it's just because we have so much inventory on hand, and because we're gonna out outsell everyone really. Um, we've already automated stuff. I haven't even put a single dime into this. Maybe that's why. I haven't put a dime into here. What would that be if we put this up to 8.0? Okay, so that only costs us 2.6 million. Um, we do have to put in some for Abe Lincoln. Let's put it at two. We need to have about 400. It's going to come out on the leading edge. So it needs to have capacity there. Um, as far as capacity for Amoeba, we can do 600. We're, we're already doing 750, but we can do 101. For Able, we're doing selling 1900. So we need to make sure we add, let's, let's add 300 if we can do that. Annoy, we're going to sell 300. So maybe 50. Let's see how that does for us. All right, 21 million. So now, if we go back here to finance, now it's probably going to say, "Oh, you're in the red." No, 4.2 million. So not as better, not as well off as before, but still, look, we're retiring stock for goodness sake at the highest capacity that we can. Um, we we underestimated. I think we've underestimated how many we're going to sell. I think we're going to stock out because of our prices. Um, even this one, I mean, look at that. They're saying we're going to sell a thousand of these amoebas because of the price and because of our TQM, which is insane. All right. So this is what we're going to do because they say everybody else is going to do the same thing. It's not going to be one, one million. I can't talk myself into doing that. That's dumb. Um, we're just going to keep it at the lower price. Don't want to play that game and, and have tons of inventory on hand. And realistically, what that's going to do, if if we are successful in doing these numbers and having a thousand, we're one of six teams going for four thousand, right? Four thousand parts they're going to sell. Three thousand three three thousand seven hundred thirty-two times one point two, forty-four hundred. There are essentially five teams going for this because Erie is low tech, uh, fast as is um, or Ferris is just high tech. So we'll just say divided by five teams. That's 895. That means I am saying we're going to sell 1,050 of these parts. That's more than our share, essentially. So if we say 100% divided by five teams, that's 20%. I'm saying I'm going to do better than 20% in the high tech market. That's insane. But with our prices, I think we can do it. Here's the other thing. We have we have our age going for us. We have the MTBFs almost at the highest for us. We have a, a price that is just about in the right place. We have the leading edge. So age, 29%. Price, eh, reliability, 13%. We're probably about 10% of that. Ideal position, we're perfect position. So we're going to get 33% of that when it comes out. Um the other thing to take into consideration is Annoy is only going to be available for half the year. So let's take a look at that one. Whereas Amoeba is available the whole year. So we got to take that in consideration. We sold 500 last time. It was ready since March, so it was a little bit earlier in the year. So it's 300 doable. Let's take a look at the marketing. Is 300 doable? At 44.50 for over half the year to go, I think it is doable. I think 300 is doable. For 750 for the whole year, did anybody else sell 750? No, we sold the most. Is it possible to sell 750 at 42.99? It's only 43 bucks. It's all less than all these people. <sighs> Tempted to put in here 49. That 50 cents. We're going to go from 36,912. We lose 400. 
we lose four hundred thousand dollars to drop this down that that 50 cents and i'm saying i'm going to do it and it's saying we could take half the market it's saying we could take half the market seriously on the low tech with these prices sales budget promo budget and and the price half of it really that's insane i, I can take a third of it i think well let's see I'm already at 20% of it, 20% of the market. And I know other people are going to make good decisions. So 68.08 times 1.1, 1 .1, that's 7,300. And divide that by how much I think I'm going to sell. Oops. I'm saying I'm going to have 26% market share this next time. Or well, they're saying Chester's going to have it. I'm already at 23%. So is it possible I could get, I could gain 3% from these other people? Ah, oh, man. Who else is, who else has got stock? Big Ben's got stock. They, they produced too much this last time. But my price is going to kick their butt. So <clears throat> I'm going to keep it right here. I don't think I'm going to take more than 26% market share, but I think I can get really close. Um, let's see out of a thousand fifty and this is what it comes down to folks you, you gotta you gotta think am I really realistically am I gonna take that much of the market so 4478 so am I gonna take 23% of market share when I only have 14% I'm gonna be adding another one so is that possible? Well, let's see, Big Baron, they've got 20%. They've got 20% right here. They, so it is possible. So I might bump this down to say, you know what, that's that's a little high number. I'm going to say I'm going to get 700. You know what, just just realistically, 650. But I'm going to still, we're going to produce more. We're going to produce more because I think we will sell more. We're still at 750. That means we're producing 100 more than we need to. But with our with not even using the second shift, I think we're okay. 62%, 18%, we're fine. We're going to be okay. And we're, we haven't put as much into our plant this time. We're not at the 27 million, so let's take a look at what... Our finance looks like 695 bucks. You know what? With that much left, I can't possibly buy back all of our stock. I can't. And there's no need to. I don't have to this round. I want to. 3.9 million is what it looks like we're going to get. Let's see here. Noi 2.0. These numbers are great. And 8.0 is just going to make our price even lower. We're spending $27. $27 on each one. Oh, total unit cost is 16, excuse me. Total unit cost is 16 and we're charging 32. We're charging double. Our unit cost is 29. And we're charging 42, 43. We're we're good, we're good. Kicks and giggles. See how much we go up if we just do that much from 21.6 to 22.9. So 1.3 million. Is it worth it? Yeah, yeah. I think it's worth it. Do we need 100% of our people? That's going to charge us a million dollars in, in admin costs? Probably not. See, now they got some overtime. Turnover rate's a little bit higher. Productivity still super high. We don't need as many people. We're going from 379 people to 284, which means we're laying off people. New employees, 19. Separated, we're separating 95 people. Let's put this at 
turnover rate 7.1. We don't want that. We want it at 7 at least. Okay, so 7.0. That's perfect. No employees 19. We're losing 101 in people. Oh, we're still spending a million bucks. Let's take a look at our scorecard. Okay, our profits went down. We were at 9.0. That's because we put some money into our plant. Leverage is it all the hot, all the all the way up. We're at 93%, 93 points. TQM admin reduction. I don't know how we could get it any lower than putting a million dollars into those, so we're just gonna leave that alone. Uh, product count. We have too many, too much inventory. And profits still too much. So let's go over here to marketing. I've got 650, but I'm producing 700. To make them happy, let's go ahead and make an adjustment. Twenty-five more parts. So now it's more profit, so that's that's happier number. Ninety-three point six. Let's take a look at our finance. Three point five million. I show we're six seventy five is forecast. We're building seven hundred and fifty. Really, all this forecast is is good for is just for looking at the performance. Because if you produce, if you're producing more than your forecast, really just you're just fooling yourself, which is what we're doing. Uh, product count, so we're at ninety three point nine. Product went up. Customer awareness is almost perfect. Accessibility is almost perfect. I think, I think we've got a solid decision, guys. I think we've got a solid decision with this pro forma. Let's look down here below. 129 out of 240. Operating cumulative profit. Uh, we took a hit last time, and we're not up to the 100 mil 120 million yet. Emergency loan, we took one, so you know we're kind of screwed on that. Puts us at zero. Sales, 10.8. That's going to go higher in the next couple of rounds. Almost perfect here on the customer average. Market share is almost perf is perfect. Sales per employee, sales or assets per employee. These numbers are coming up. So we're doing really well. I think we're doing really well. So you know what? That's a wrap. Let's take a look at our finance. We've got four and a half million that's going to be sitting on our bank account that's ours to play with next round. I would rather leave that in there as a buffer this time than to bounce up this these numbers anymore. <sighs> Matter of fact, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go over to finance and we're going to take out, we're going to borrow 1.5. And I'll tell you why. So we're going to be spent, we're going to be paying back 6.5 million this year. I believe that's already considered in the cash positions here. So I want to take that out because the emergency loan is no good. We're not paying off any stock. We're borrowing long term. We didn't change the accounts receivable. We didn't change the accounts payable. We don't really need to. And let's see if that changed. We were at 93.9 before. We're at 93.8. So we lost 0.1. Big deal. So we're good. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Update the official decisions. The whole team's good. I'm going to save it, and that's a wrap. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're learning something from this, please comment down below and uh, give a thumbs up if you appreciate me doing this. Um, I won't be doing it anymore after this semester is over because I'm not honestly going to pay to get on to CapSim to show you more. But I've got enough video and pictures that maybe I could do updated videos to, to tell you about some other, other ways or other, other um, strategies to work around this stuff. So hope you have a good day.